G'day everyone. In the last video, I showed you how to remove the calipers off your BMW E34. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how to take your calipers and turn them from this into this. Alright, let's have a look at what we'll need. What you'll need to do the painting and the cleaning are as follows. You'll need some sandpaper of various grits. I think I've got about 120 to 100 or 260, so fairly rough. Um, you'll need a wire brush to clean off the muck before you start sanding. You'll need some masking tape to block off all your pistons and rubber bits that you don't want to paint on your caliper. And then you'll need your paint. So you can get away with just using straight up red caliper paint. You don't have to put any primer on, but I want to do a really nice job. So I'll be putting on primer and then the red coat. Let's start off by cleaning the calipers. So the first thing you want to do is grab the wire brush and begin scrubbing down the calipers and get as much muck and dirt off as you can. Okay, this is how it looks after I've scrubbed it with the wire brush. Next step is to get some sandpaper and try and smooth out any of the surfaces that we'll see when it's painted. I sanded the calipers using two lots of sandpaper. The first was the roughest grit that I had, and then I followed this up with the finer grit. I made sure to get into all the crevices and cracks that the wire brush couldn't reach. Okay, so here's the caliper that I just sanded up compared to the one that's still dirty. You can see it makes a really big difference and you really should do this before you paint otherwise it's just not going to stick. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sand up this one as well as the back calipers and all of the inner parts of the calipers as well. Then we'll come back and I'll show you how to tape everything up and then we'll start painting. After sanding, make sure to wipe down all your parts with some wax and grease remover. Now it's time to put some masking tape around all the parts that we don't want to paint red. The areas that we want to mask up include the areas where the bolts sit and also the places where the caliper bolts to the car. We also want to make sure that the rails on which the brake pads slide are also clean and not painted. This includes the main part of the caliper as well on these areas. And on the inside we want to make sure that we tape up the piston um, this includes the rubber boots on left and right sides there, and also the brake line hole. We also want to take out the bleeder screw and tape up the hole that's left there as well. A useful trick when trying to tape circular objects is to use a heavy uh, metal object like a hammer or this adjustable wrench here, and tap around the edge of the circle. This cuts the masking tape and it allows you to get a nice clean mask on the area that you're working on. Repeat this process for all the remaining parts that you wish to paint. Okay, so it's taken a long time, but I finally managed to uh, tape up all of the calipers and the pieces I want to paint. Um, so let's get to it and start painting. The first paint we'll put on is the primer. Alright, so the type of paint we want to use is high performance primer. You don't have to use a primer, you can just put the um, red paint straight on, but I want to do this properly seeing as I spent all day doing it. It's best to apply the primer in a series of light to medium coats. You want to make sure that you shake the can really well before you start and that you're not painting in a wet environment. Begin by holding the can maybe 20 or 25 centimeters away from the calipers 
and spraying evenly across the surface. You want to make sure that you don't hold the can too long pointing at the same spot, otherwise you might end up with sags or ripples through your paint. Okay, so that's the first coat of primer done. We'll wait about 10 minutes, flip them over, and do the underside. Okay, so it's sort of dry to the touch now, which is surprising. Paint the other side. All right, that's dry to the touch again. Doesn't take very long at all. Let's flip it over and see if we need to do any more priming. After applying the final coat of primer, allow all the caliper pieces to sit and dry for a good hour. So, the type of paint I'm using is aptly named Galloper paint. So um, it's just high temperature paint like the primer. Um, you want to make sure that your primer is of course high temperature otherwise when you put this on it'll, it'll just all peel off. But yeah just high temperature paint it doesn't have to be caliper paint per se just high temperature. Applying the red paint is identical to applying the primer. Make sure to shake the can well, use nice even strokes and apply three or so light coats. Allow the coats to dry for about 10 minutes between applications. It's time to do the second coat of paint on the calipers. So we'll flip them over, do the underside. That's been sitting for a good 10 or 11 minutes. Let's flip it over and do the final coat on top. Okay, so that's the red paint applied to all the caliper pieces. Here's a close-up of the finished product. As you can see, they turned out really well, and I think they look bloody awesome. Now that's how to repaint your brake calipers. Make sure you let them dry for a good three hours before you bolt them back to your car. If you'd like to see how to reinstall these brake calipers alongside braided steel brake lines and new brake pads, 
go and check out part 3. I'll also show you how to properly bleed your entire brake system so that your car is safe to drive. Thanks for watching.